Welcome back guys to new hot news in the MMA world. So we are starting today with Sean Strickland. Fans are really excited about Sean Strickland teaming up with Bryce Mitchell. Once again Sean Strickland got people talking when he shared the video on social media with Bryce Mitchell, who's becoming more famous now. Lots of people watched the video and in it Strickland talked highly about Mitchell's love for the country and how they both think alike. Take a second to subscribe and like the video to keep the content coming, thank you so much. Mitchell is well known for speaking his mind, even when he stirs up in trouble. He's become famous for his unusual beliefs. At just 28 years old, he's questioned COVID, talked about government and even debated the shape of the earth. Yeah, you heard him right. Strickland too has his fair shares of controversies. As a former middleweight champion, he's no stranger to making statements and upset people. Fans reacted to the video. Many took to the comment section with one writing, this might break the internet. Another one wrote, the world isn't ready for this combination. Comment down below your thoughts on this tag team right here. Let's go on with the next news. Sean Strickland has said yes to fighting Paulo Costa. They're planning to face off in UFC 302. Sean Strickland and Paulo Costa decided to have a fight after talking on social media. The most famous UFC fighters. Before this, Costa said that Strickland said no to a fight offer for UFC 302. Then Strickland said he wanted more money to fight Costa, who had once fought for the middleweight title. Later Strickland talked to the UFC about his concerns and he says they sorted everything out. Will had a meeting with the UFC and told them that I don't want to be rich. I want to be able to support a family after my career is done. They actually were pretty supportive, made it happen. Thank you fans. Later Strickland talked to the UFC about his concerns and he says they sorted everything out. According to someone who knows about the news, Strickland caused to have verbally agreed to fight thanks to a tweet from Strickland. You can watch the main fights on ESPN Plus pay-per-view. At first Strickland said no to fighting Costa, but then he talked about how much money he wanted, saying he get less than 200,000 just to show up and another 200,000 if he wins. He even asked his fans to get how much he offered to fight Costa with only 7 weeks notice. We have now interesting news. Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler's fight is said to be officially revealed at, at the UFC 300 press conference. A new report says Conor McGregor will fight Michael Chandler in the UFC soon. Dana White, the UFC boss, said McGregor would come back after, after promoting his movie. Now it looks like White is keeping his promise. Today's news reported that McGregor's fight with Chandler will be announced this week. Conor McGregor and Michael Chandler will be there. They will also have a face-off. This isn't the first time that the company has surprised fans with face-offs. What do you think of this UFC 300 news? Do you believe Conor McGregor vs Mike Chan will actually happen in June? Write it down below. Next, Holly Holm replied to Ron Larousse's reasons she wasn't better than me, especially not that night. Back in 2015, something amazing happened in the UFC world. Holly Holm surprised everyone when she kicked Ron Larousse's jaw making her fall to the ground. This moment was a huge upset because Russo was the champion. Since then, almost 9 years have gone by. Holmes stayed strong in the bantamweight rankings, but Russo didn't fight much longer after that and decided to retire after just one more match. Russo just wrote a book called Our Fight where she talks about her life including how she got concussions that made her quit fighting. She mentioned the time she fell downstairs before a UFC fight. It was UFC 193 and said she fought home while still feeling the effects of a concussion. Home on the other hand complimented Rousseau as a great champion but didn't agree with Rousseau's explanation for her loss. Jerry Prochaska responded to what Alexander Rakic said about him before their fight at UFC 300. They both liked heavyweight champions and will face each other in the main preliminary fight at UFC 300. The event is happening on April 13 at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. During the media day, they asked Rakic about what he said before Prochaska being a fake samurai and it affected the former UFC lightweight heavyweight champion. And if it affected the former UFC light heavyweight champion, Rakic who is ranked number 5 at T's Prochaska was ranked number 2 about how much he liked Miyamoto Musashi's book, The Book of Five Rings and how it shaped Prochaska's identity as a mixed martial artist. Rakic replied, yeah, I said he's a fake samurai because, you know, you cannot become a samurai after just reading a book, you know. What his coach gave it to him, and live the spirit. If you're a samurai, you need to live this for a long time and not for the last 2-3 years. So that's why I say he's a fake samurai. What do you think about this conversation? Write your thoughts down below, I'm interested in it. 
So, let's go on. In response to Ruck's remark, Prochaska said, Alexander's talking too much. Like I said, he's talking just too much. He don't know me, but he will know me in the cage. So next situation, Max Holloway goes in on questionable lure to peer. Sign on the dotted line, don't make excuses. Holloway and Gaethje are going to fight for the BMF title and they do it at 155 pounds. But Holloway, who used to hold the featherweight title, said he's still interested in the 145 pound division. He's not closing any doors and at a recent media day he took the chance to ask Tupuria some questions. In this sport having options is always good, said Holloway. First things first is Justin Gaethje, but there's a fun fight down there. The man keeps talking, I keep hearing. My only advice to that guys is when the contract comes up, sign on the dotted line, don't make excuses. Last February, Topuria became the featherweight champion by defeating Alexander Volkanovsky at the UFC 298 with a knockout. Before this, he had said no to fighting Holloway because it didn't seem right to challenge someone who had already lost three times to Volkanovsky. What do you think? Let's see this interesting news of Alex Pereira beating Francis as the hardest puncher in the UFC after new test. In 2018, Francis showed he could punch really hard in mixed martial arts. A special machine measured how strong his punches were in a video from PowerCube. It said his punch had 139,161 units of power. If the machine is working right, Alex Pereira didn't just beat Francis' punch record, he smashed it. The machine says Perez's punch was whopping 191,796 units of power. That's insane. That's incredible for a fighter who started in one weight class and now he's the champion in a heavier one. Seeing this kind of strength makes everyone admire Zorel's knockout of Alex Pereira even more. Because little by little, he's becoming the scariest guy in the UFC. Especially with this place like this, his first title defense in new weight class is just days away. In a heartfelt interview just days before UFC 300, Charles Oliveira with tears in his eyes shares the true significance behind his nickname The Bronx. Charles Oliveira shared the story behind his nickname before the U big UFC event on Saturday. He used to be the lightweight champion and fans love him for his exciting fights and personality. He usually keeps his personal life private like many other fighters. But it is time he decided to tell us about his nickname and what it means. I battled like hell and it happened. I truly believe God chose me to not only change my story, but also parents story and the story of many others. A kid who came from nothing from the bottom from the favelas. If God were to take me today, I would die very happy for all that I've provided my parents. That's what the Bronx means to me. What are your thoughts on this? Write your results for the upcoming UFC event down. Who do you think will win in the fights? Please subscribe to our channel and check out one of these videos. We're interested in your opinion, so take a second to write it down. See you in our next video. Take care.